Hey guys, my name is Mannequin and welcome back to Remixing from Scratch. Okay, today is literally the last day of the contest and I, if I want to get this submitted, it's going to be kind of interesting how I'm going to have to do this here. So what I'm going to try to do is like, finish the outro, do um, a decent mix down and then uh, a decent master and then I'm just going to submit it and then from there, I'll probably do subsequent versions that improve. Since I don't think I'm gonna win anyway, I just kind of, you know, kind of enter it just cause, just to give it a shot. Um, but the biggest, the biggest, most important part is getting a good track out of it in the end. So, um, so uh, like I said, I don't want to like uh, just finish this really fast and sloppy, and at the same time, I still want to get it entered. So we're gonna try to see if I could finish a uh, a decent, you know, version of this track, and then. Uh, upload that to the contest and then just kind of continue on this series um fine tuning it and adjusting it a little bit more um but anyway uh, time to get into this so we need to do the outro uh we'll listen to this section here and just kind of listen to the outro and basically i'm pretty much just going to copy this that's that's what i think i'm going to do right now and then i might do a couple other things uh and well, obviously i'd have to because it's the outro i'm kind of like tuning things uh t turning things down and kind of like ending the track here so I can't just copy this for the entire thing and then just let it cut. Uh, but anyway, we'll kind of see how this plays out, but mostly I'm just going to copy this stuff over and then uh, and then t uh, do a couple other things. So well, let's listen to this and get started. Okay, so just kind of copied it over there, uh, like I said I was going to do. And I don't think there's any more vocals following this section. So basically this is where we can start turning things down. Uh, let me listen to this one more time just to kind of make sure it sounds uh, okay. Because I was actually initially, you know, planning to just copy this over. I'm not copying this just for the sake of time. I, it was my original intent to actually end it this way, just kind of doing this one section here uh, to reiterate the ending. And then we'll kind of thin things out and we'll see what we're going to do with that. So, okay, let's listen one more time. Okay, I forgot to copy part of the kick there, uh, the high end of the kick. So I just copied that, and then now we're gonna go here, grab uh, the, all the, just enough kicks here. Da -da. Sweet, we're gonna copy this over, and uh, that doesn't look right. Uh, zoom in here so I make sure I grab the right amount of kicks. There we go, that's better. And then I'm just gonna copy one, two cycles less I think should be sufficient. We'll just call it quits there. So that'll be the end of our track, right there. And um, then actually that almost 
Yeah, with the tail, it's going to be right about there. So that's, all, that's actually almost perfect. Um, and then now to figure out what the heck we're going to put over here. So we have a couple options. Um, one is we could just break it down to this. Uh, and I'll kind of show you what that sounds like. Um, actually, wait, what's, which one's this? Oh, yeah. So we'll copy this over. Uh, don't copy. And that one there just because. Okay, I don't like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out this one. And then we're going to take these ones and copy these ones over and see how this works. Um, and this might just work. And then we'll copy these ones actually over. Okay, so that'll actually work. Now we just need to add transitions here. So we're gonna add a uh, down a noise sweep downwards only, not upwards, and then downwards, just downwards only. Uh, right here, uh, if I could figure out which one I did, I think it was this one that was my downward noise sweep, and that should just copy right here really nicely. So we'll try that. Other than the fact that you can't hear it, it's actually pretty nice. Uh, which kind of defeats the purpose then. <laughs> uh, okay, so what do I have down here? I forgot, do I have... Yeah, these are just builds. I don't have one that's reversed or anything. So, in that case, uh, I could take this one and make it louder. Uh, up at the top here, so we take this one and I could actually make it louder. Um, I don't have automation. Yeah, I'll just, I'm just going to be lazy and I'm just going to duplicate it and then drag this one down. And that didn't have anything interesting on it, I think. I think that compressor was just like a regular compressor. I don't think it was side chained. Nope, it was side chained. So let's go bus 20, dandy, and then we'll turn this up. No, that's the wrong one. Darn it. What was it at? It was at 15.2. Uh, negative 15.2. And we'll grab this one and turn it up. Sweet. Should sound a bit better now. So I'm just turning up the reverb here so that it kind of, it doesn't sound as like dry. Okay, and the other thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to reduce the compression because the compression on this is way too high. Okay, and then we're gonna take the space designer. Actually, we're gonna pull the compressor on top of the space designer. So that kind of gets a little bit more pulse there. Hmm, uh, okay. 
One second, I'm gonna listen to this with a kick. Okay, I kinda like that better. We'll see how that goes. Uh, oops, I need to unzip off. There we go, that's better. Okay, and one final thing I'm gonna put on top of this, um, since I don't want reverb because that kind of kills the dynamics there, uh, what we're gonna do instead is add modulation and then we're gonna do assemble. And that'll what that'll do is kind of make it sound really smooth. And I think um, Vintage Dimension is the one I think I like. And it'll just kind of smooth things out. Kind of hear it there. There's a couple ones. So I'm just going to use... I might use rich modulation, actually. Just kind of smooths it out a little. There we go, that's better. That's how I like it. Now, I want to add a... A crash or a reverby clap? Do I have a reverby clap around here? I don't think so. So... Probably just use a crash then. Because I'm lazy. Well, actually, um, I'm going to throw a crash in and we'll see how it sounds. And then from there, I may or may not switch it over to a clap. Um, gosh, we're trying to, I guess, copy the automation. Uh, actually, I need to figure out where to line it up. We want it there. So actually undo that. We're going to copy this again. Put it right there. Copy automation. Oh, that's a reverse crash. Yeah, that's a reverse crash. I'll use that later, but uh, for now, we're gonna undo that. Cause that's a reverse crash, whoop de doo uh, I'm already forgetting where everything in the project is. Uh, so I want it here also. That was the part of the problem too. Um, I want this crash, cause I remember this crash was kinda like this weird depthy sounding one. Okay, um, so that's kind of what I got. That that's that's gonna be the basis for what I've going here. I am going to want a reverby clap though. So if I could go find uh, my samples, um, and then I want to go EDM drums claps, and I just need to find a good clap that'll work with a. Uh, um, Actually, this one will work. Um, we're gonna go and process it a little bit first and then we'll move it over into the right spot. Uh, so we'll go return to the beginning by hitting return there. 
and then we'll kind of loop this area-ish, just the first three bars, and then we'll solo this one. So this one's gonna be uh, blowing our eardrums out if we don't turn the game down. So we'll drop this by 24, and then there we go. And then what we'll do with this one is just get tons of reverb, uh, go into stereo, and then we're going to do trance. That should probably give us a good idea of what we want. And then what we'll probably want as well is actually we're going to remove this first. Go to, um, where is it? Delay, sample delay, mono to stereo, and then we're going to do this. Spread it first. Actually, we're going to spread the other direction. There we go. I like that. And then we'll get the reverb here now. Space designer stereo. And then we could get what we want, trance. Now notice it has that kind of weird, like, roomy sound in it. Um, I don't really want that. So we're going to try to do some things here. Um, I am going to take this clap. I am going to put Camel Crusher on it. And then we're going to not only compress it, but we're also going to do some... Ooh, actually, I should have... I should do that before the split. So we're not going to do that there. We're going to add it here. Audio units, Camel Crusher. We're just going to do mono right there before the uh, split to stereo. Uh, because if you compress, sometimes a compressor will be in mono and it won't compress the uh, sides individually. It'll just kind of average the compression between the two, which is why I decided to move that before the sample delay instead of after. So turn off fat mode so we get some nice punchy. There we go. And then turn up mech distortion and turn down the master here. And I could actually do one other thing here. Um, I'm going to do distortion bit crusher. We're not going to downsample like most bit crushing. So we're not going to do that. We're going to actually leave the downsampling at one time, one times, turn off the drive, and we're going to reduce the resolution and kind of listen to where that gives us enough noise to where it kind of gives it character. Let's turn off the uh, re reverb first. So this gives it a little bit of high-end air. That's actually a form of distortion, kind of. So, um, and it just kind of adds some noise to it. So I'm just gonna leave it at that, and then we'll go and see what we could do to this reverb. We're actually gonna choose a uh, hall and kind of go through some of the hall options, see if we can find one that we like. Big string, soft hall. I want a bright hall. Ooh, long reverb, that might work. No. Okay, so uh, I kind of like this reverb. There's one thing that I don't like. If you notice, you could actually see it here in the uh, the kind of overview. I'm gonna uh, just kind of show you. Right here, it kind of, it's got this peak, it goes down, it's got another peak, and then it kind of goes down again, and it repeats that a little bit. Now, you could actually hear, if you listen closely, that first peak here and the second peak here create a slap sound. So just listen. So you hear that da 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 da. So there's actually a cool way to get rid of this. Um, you could like try to move the volume over and stuff like that, but that actually won't work. What you have to do is you have to do the impulse response start time. And that'll basically start trimming from the beginning. So we're just gonna slowly turn this up until we cut off that part there. Um, now, I don't know if that's the smallest increments possible, but maybe we'll go with this. Whoops, reset it somehow. I don't know why it's uh, doing that. It keeps on resetting it. Maybe it's because I'm hitting the space bar. There we go. This is not as bad now. Uh, it's still a little bit there because you kind of ha you can kind of see there it uh, still hangs out. What I could do is I could actually turn up the, the response start time even more 
and then uh, it kind of clips out the beginning and we'll have even less of that. Which is actually... I kind of like that. So we'll actually just leave it as is. And then we can turn up the reverb volume to account for the fact that if you notice, this section that was previously, uh, was previously like a lot lower. So right here would have peaked at about like right here uh, before uh, when we had the, high, the louder part. Uh, so I can actually show you that's 115 right now. So if I turn that down to zero, um, we're looking at this section right here. So and then I can bring this back up to 115. Uh, actually, come on. Uh, 9, 155. Yeah, what the heck. Good enough. We'll leave it at that. And then we could turn up the reverb or turn down the dryness. We're going to do a little bit of both, actually. Kind of drown it in reverb. And then I'm going to do one more thing, which is add another layer of Camel Crusher. This time though, uh, we might, may or may not do compression. I'm gonna turn off compression first, turn off tube dis uh, distortion, and then turn up mech. Tube is very warm, mech is very gritty. I have no idea what that stands for. Uh, I, I don't know if mech actually stands for something else. If I, if, if I did, I'd tell you guys. Uh, but this one is very gritty, and this one's very uh, a lot warmer, and it sounds more like... Unfortunately, that doesn't help. I was going to say it sounds more like tube distortion, but that's kind of what it is. Um, uh, anyway, uh, long story short, this one kind of, um, I don't know. Yeah, it's just warmer. This one's uh, more focused on getting a gritty sound. So turn on the volume. And turn on a little bit of compressor. Ah, that's loud. So look at where we're peaking. We're peaking at negative 22. And now we're peaking at negative 21. So you'll notice that when I uh, leave the compression and distortion on with this whole camel crusher thing, it loses a lot of its high end punch, but it gets uh, the tail is a lot thicker. And then with it off. So it loses a lot of the, the brightness and uh, and the initial punch, um, but it thickens up the, uh, the 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 tail, which is what I really wanted, because uh, that's what this the purpose of the snare is. The purpose of the snare is not to be punchy. It's supposed to kind of have a lot of trail to it. So now I can move this into position. We're gonna drop this right here underneath our crash that we added, and then we'll listen to it and mix it in and see how it sounds. Can you feel it? So you could tell the clap was way too loud there and uh, I could actually turn that down and we'll let the reverb stand out more. Um, instead of just turning down the volume, I'm also just turning down the dryness here. So we were left with more reverb relative to the dryness. Um... You'll notice that sounds like it has no tail now. So it sounds like it's a lot, it has a lot of tail here, but the instant we go in and drop it in the mix, it loses a lot of its tail. So there's a couple ways we could try to fix this. Um, we could do compression uh, or we could do this, which is um, taking this little slider here, dropping it right here, um, and then having it fade in kind of. So we'll just do this. So it kind of looks more consistent throughout the entire thing. And then we're just gonna turn up the reverb a whole lot. And then another thing we could actually do is uh, we could slide this down even further and just kind of let it gradually increase in volume as this part is technically decreasing, uh, which would kind of keep the volume more consistent. But I don't want to bother with that. Um, I think this might work. Okay, so it sounds like one more thing I could do is go right before the space designer and then just do uh, a stereo delay and make it a whole note, not a whole note, a quarter note, my bad, uh, and then gonna cut some of the high end here. And we're just gonna give it uh, feedback of about 45. And that allows it to, uh, it does this, it 
repeats the clap every single beat but at the same time um the kick kind of overpowers that so you don't hear it it just kind of sounds like more tail so and if i wanted to extend this even more now i could go to like 60 that actually might be what i should do here and then we'll bring this up to 40. sweet Okay, now for the final part of this whole formula, I'm gonna double click EQ here to drop an EQ at the bottom. And then we're gonna get rid of all these mids that are causing it to sound like it's dead. Um, this doesn't sound very bright and kind of clappy. It sounds kind of just like dead. So that's because of these, mostly right here. And then also we have some low end that we're going to want to tame as well. So we're just going to pull that up here. And then if you find the harsh part. Normally it'd be right there. But we don't actually have much there. So what I'm going to do is boost there as well as up here. Sounds like there's just like wind there now. I think that's the sweet spot. Okay. That makes a huge difference. Okay, now we'll listen to it in the mix. And normally you should be tweaking it in the mix, but I just kind of like to solo these things out because like, like I've probably said in earlier videos, um, I'm really used to mixing these things beforehand. So I kind of, I could get uh, in the ballpark by mixing it on solo. And then when I go in, um, I can actually hear it uh, in the mix and actually uh, then decide if I need to tweak it, so. So that's better. Um, the one thing I want to do though is take out the stereo delay and send the feedback all the way up to like 80 though. Um, and I'll just run this so the tail will be even longer. And then I'm going to turn this down so that's more in the background. And I think I'm going to turn off the high cut as well. Okay, now we just need one more thing to add body to this kind of downlifting sound. Um, I could just grab one of the impacts that we have from before. I might do that. Ooh, actually, you know what I should do is I should take that one reverby kick that we made. Uh... Where is that? I think it's right here. And then I could drop that in on top of these and it'll kind of give us that nice boomy sound, but at the same time, it won't be like the uh, very unique and styled uh, downlifters we've been using before. So um, I'm just gonna actually grab this here and see how it sounds. No. This is way too booming. So there's a couple options here. One is I could change it out, or two, I could try turning the gain down first. So we're gonna turn the gain down drastically, see how that sounds. Nope, okay, so the problem is we don't have enough mids in our whole thing. And I could go back to this clap and like pretty much bring the mids back in by turning off the EQ. But I don't think I like the sound of that. Because that, 
that sort of those sort of mids are just kind of like um they sound i don't know they sound muddy it doesn't sound good so we'll probably just grab one of these not sure which one okay excuse you joseph and uh it's gonna be this one number five number five you're the winner uh, okay drop it here and then we our show might be on the road Okay, figured it out. We're gonna duplicate this. Don't crash, thank you. And then we're gonna move that over there. Not copy, I just moved it. Um, and then we're gonna drag this up. So it's pretty much, we cut out the low end. We'll leave right here, cause I kinda like right there. There we go. Okay. Now, um, I, need, I need to figure out what to do with this clap because this clap still doesn't fit. I think it's because I actually don't have enough distortion on it. I don't have enough of the right distortion on it. That's a problem. Uh, okay, so we're going to do distortion, uh, distortion 2. This one has very gritty distortion, which hopefully will give us what I want. And hopefully this doesn't blow our eardrums out. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Uh, we got to turn this down here. Try something else. Yeah. Try that maybe? Okay, that sounds good. We just need to cut a little bit more of the mids and we should be dandy. Okay, now get some of the char characteristic sound there. Yep. Did my work. We'll call that close enough. Uh, now I'm going to take distortion two and make the distortion output level like really low. Negative 12. Sure. So we could turn this back up. Actually, we're going to bring it down all the way to negative 20. Should be good. Okay, now we need to add a riser up to the end, and it's gonna be this one. Right there, I think. Okay. 
Okay, I was wrong. I was way off. Uh, but that's never fear. Uh, fix the problem as possible. Uh, that right there, sweet. And then we should be in business. Okay, so now uh, I want to do a couple of other things. For this crash, I like the crash, but I don't like the delay on it. So I could automate the delay and just reduce the amount of delay, or I could just create another track. Lazy Me is going to create another track. And then we're going to turn off the delay for now and see how it sounds without it. Uh, might need to just reduce the delay. Of course, I forgot about the sidechain compressor. Compressor. There's no S H in compressor. Um. Ah, ooh. Actually, I think this was one of the tracks that I had two sidechain compressors. Nope. One was just to flatten it. The other was to. Uh... So that's our sidechain. That's our not sidechain. Sweet. And then maybe this will work. Okay, uh, close, but not quite. The tail is not long enough. So we gotta set this to about nine, I think. We should be good. Not nine. It was close, not quite. Uh, so we added at four, so we'll just stick it at six, I guess. That's halfway there. Should be good. Okay, sweet. And then we could actually end the track right here, which is exactly where I anticipated it was going to end. There. Bingo. And uh, now, not quite finished yet, almost though. Um, there is one other thing I wanna do. And that is, where's my thin kick? Okay, so I think I automated this correctly. Um, maybe I didn't automate the thin kick. I thought I automated. Oh no, that was my fill sort of kick thingy. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is cut out the, the thickness of the kick, drop this down to a thin kick. Uh, right in this last area, so we have to. So this will be. This will basically be our outro, I believe. Uh, it should be good, I think. Okay, now there's one thing that I do want to do. Um, uh, let me listen one more time. I don't remember exactly what I was thinking. I kind of want to have like a synthesizer build in the background. I don't know. Uh, we have a couple reverse sounds that we ended up hating. Um, I could probably put that in, where was it? Ah, it was one of these, I think. Side, nope, that's not it. Uh, reverse translate? Yeah, that's a reverse translate. Unmute that, and then the one remaining thing that was left there is probably way too short for this purpose, but we'll give it a shot. 
Uh, so we'll put it actually about halfway through here. So from here to here, which would mean that it needs to be there. And then we'll drop this, not like that, like this. Uh, and then I gotta check one other thing. I wanna try to extend this out to its full length. Uh, and then this is gonna need to be really quiet. There we go, that might actually have been long enough for this whole area. What I kinda wanna do is um, this, and then reduce the volume level a lot. So it's just kind of in the background. How much is it? Kind of like that. Okay, so that doesn't quite end how I want it to end. I kind of want it to end like that, I think. Except for we'll just make this. Is this entirely? No, it's got some dry in it. Turn that down. And space designer, the length is 2.8 seconds. So we'll bring it up to like uh, four seconds. So it just kind of fades in a little bit in the background, but it does add a little bit of character to it. Um, additionally, now we could actually use, uh, I also had an idea that I was initially gonna use with this one, but now we could actually grab the reverse vocal, if I can find it. There we go. And we'll just place this right here. Where do I want it? I want it right here-ish. So I want this to be halfway through this area, which is right about there. Drop that right about air and cut it like that. Okay. Now we need a delay before the reverb, stereo delay. And then um, we're gonna make this a eighth note instead of a quarter note like we usually do. And we're gonna put the feedback up to 70. It kind of just eases in and then keeps going sort of sound. And we'll kind of let this play out. Okay, now, uh, one last thing I wanna do before I wrap this up, uh, this will actually be a really easy thing here. I'm gonna get just a simple hat, the one hat that we tried to add at the beginning of the project. Uh, squish this down so I can see. Um, snare, no, hat, yes. I think it was this one. Uh, okay, so we'll just copy this over here. That's way too much, but okay. Drop it right there, sure. Zoom in here and make sure. Ah, reminded me. Also, these are a little bit too long, so we're gonna trim them down. Should be good. And then we could grab the first half. Because remember, this is kind of like on every other because we had a second hat that was running. Uh, so it would alternate between the two. So I need to drop this one right there and it goes like this okay cool 
We'll try copying this over here as well. Okay, that should be good. I think we'll call that set. So now is the time where we save the project and uh, we listen to the whole thing from the beginning all the way to the end. And listen for any major issues that may have come up when editing because sometimes we accidentally select all of these and shrink all of them when we don't want to. Which is may have... Nope, I didn't do that. Okay. So, but anyway, we still need to listen to the beginning to kind of figure out how things are. So that means we're going to be here for six minutes and uh, just kind of listen to the whole thing. And then um, we'll be done with this part. Uh, I am going to have to uh, listen on my monitors and see what needs to be fixed by way of the mix down. And then uh, I might be able to get this in before the contest wraps up this evening. Um, but we'll see. So let's listen to this and uh, then we'll wrap this up here.
Okay, so I changed uh, two things, three, uh, yeah, two things while playing back. First of all, um, I noticed that when I copied this to here, I accidentally copied these two along with it as well, and I don't want these ones here. So uh, we're removing those ones and uh, by muting them just because I'm lazy and I want to delete them. And then uh, these hats are way too loud. I was thinking about just deleting them, but I'm going to try to listen to them one more time with a quieter volume. Nope, we're just deleting them. Goodbye, hats. Okay. Now, the one thing I want to check is I actually might like this sweep here. But uh, we'll have to double check with that one. I think I could keep that one. I don't I definitely don't like the one here though. Cause that's where it would have transitioned, and I don't want that there. But I think this one is okay because since we bring in the clap, uh so we'll, uh, we could actually keep this one. This one we'll just delete though. Okay. That said, it seems we're pretty much done with the with the track here. Now all that's left is to do the mix down and mastering. And it's 8:30. Which means that I can't turn on my speakers because my little siblings are sleeping. Uh, so that means that I might just be screwed by way of this remix contest. But uh, anyway, this track has been really enjoyable. And I guess that means since I'm probably not going to be able to submit this uh, with a decent mix, I'm just going to be able to uh, spend my leisurely time, uh, you know, just taking, taking the time that's needed to kind of refine this track, finish it, and uh, work it to, to get it so it's really pristine and uh, mixed very well. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.